What's up, family? This is Sensei from Ride Fit Nation. Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here, this is a lifestyle channel. We talk about <coughs> miles, money, and muscle. <coughs> I'm drinking some water, man. That thing got in the wrong spot, but it's all right. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, what I show you, as you see in the title, right? This is the easiest way. Well, not really easy. It does take a little time to set up, but if you don't want to use these heavy straps, right, to put your bike up on your trailer, if you trail your bike, whether you bring your motorcycle to the dealer to get work done, your mechanic, whether you're trailing across country, you're going to Sturgis, you're going to Daytona, whatever you're doing, what I'm using here, if you look, there's no straps. Look, the straps is out of here. Maybe you might know about this already, maybe not. I'm going to assume that you don't. Well, if you do, well, 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 educate them. So this is the biker bar, right? And the biker bar, I literally just installed it. I had it installed earlier, but I didn't have a motorcycle to measure so I had it installed in the wrong spot, which is fine because this is my trailer. I could put any, any amount of holes I want to. I could even patch this hole up. But let me show you guys what I did. This is not an install video, but I'm going to walk you through what I did to get it done. Okay. So what I did first was the bike is now locked in place, right? This, this bar goes underneath the, hold on. This goes underneath the frame. You see it? It locks on the frame and you turn this all the way you turn this clockwise until the the, the, the uh, crush washer equals out until it evens up then you turn it another quarter turn right but how do you install the biker bar here well this is what we're going to do we're going to go underneath this trailer and i'm going to show you guys what i did and how i used it so what i did so far is i used this 5 8 spade bit like this and i connected it to this thing called a drill and i measured where i wanted the bike distance from the front here leaving a lot of space so there's nothing nothing here by the way new tires michelin commander threes baby all right so anyway here we go so let's get under here and i'm gonna show you what i did so what i did was if you if you have somebody to help you out that's good but if you don't have anybody you can use a jack and you can push the jack underneath the trailer and jack up the plate because there's a plate that this screws onto it's a heavy metal plate that this will go nowhere now check this out. Let's get on the here together, all right? Hopefully you'll be able to see it. So if you look under the trailer, right there, see that, that plate right there? That's the plate. Look at the size of the plate. It's fantastic. And of course, it's over there as well. Now here's another plus. You see those two screws right here? I mean those two holes? So I'm gonna drill two holes in here and I'm gonna put the bolts, the extra bolts, to hold that metal place, that metal plate in its spot, because that is where you want to be able to remove the biker bar if you need to without the plate losing its spot, right? So that drill that I had right here, hold on a second. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing so you can get an idea. Like I said, this is not a install video, but while I'm here, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna drill this up, take my time. I'm going to drill this opening, all right, up there, and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side, and then I'll be able to put the bolts in here, so like I said, like I said, with that part, right, I'm not going to worry about, hold on a second, what's that, what's that lock in me, okay, almost broke my damn wrist, <laughs> like I said, I'm not going to, um, let me take my time, because this thing will break your wrist for real if you ain't careful, if you know what I'm saying. All right, there we go. Perfect. Good. So I like to just drill it out again and make sure it's nice and clean. So once I do that, I do the same thing on the side. So that means that I can take out, I can remove my biker, the, uh, the biker bar uh, whole setup and not worry about the uh, this here taking up space in case I have to put something else in the trailer. Make sense? So let me show you guys how this goes in the locking point and how you release it well it's already locked in so check this out all right before we even go there and show you guys how it mounts up look i'm assuming y'all don't know right so that's why i'm making this video it's not a new product it's been out here for a while so those two screws that i screwed in i'm gonna tap this down and that's gonna go in that spot right and then the same thing goes here it's gonna go right underneath that spot here so I could take this up and this will hold that in spot in the, in the spot so I'm going to use the provided bolts and the crush washer uh, and then screw that in 
So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so y'all ready to see how this thing goes on and off? All right, let's do it. So I'm gonna leave the camera right here because I want you to be able to see the lock and release, okay? Now Beast is not in the best condition right now. I'm not riding Beast because I got new tires and the brakes, the front brakes is off, all the other stuff. But, so basically what we do, I'll do this side first. So basically there's a, there's a little knob right here, right? And I'm gonna get, I'm getting used to this now too, my damn self, but look, when I press this, right? You can feel the release of the, the biker bar and I do the same thing on the other side and I pull it out. Now it's, 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 it's out, it's away from this. So I could, I could roll it back and you can see the bike is now in its spot. Now for me, I find it better when I start the bike up, hold on a second, excuse the, the rumble, you know, the beast-like sound. And I'll take my time. There it is. And once you hear that clack sound, I don't know if you're able to hear that clack sound, that is the biker bar in its spot. It's solid, it ain't go nowhere. I promise you, it's not gonna go nowhere. Now this thing is, is amazing. I absolutely do love it. The bike is sturdy as heck. Look at this, look at this for a second. So I'm gonna set the camera up. I'm not even gonna cut this part. I just wanna show you guys when I come up here and I try to shake this bike, this thing ain't going nowhere, okay? This thing is not gonna fall, it's not gonna do anything. So if you guys are interested in checking it out, go and check it out. I'm not being sponsored by this, by this company, none of that stuff, right? However, I do believe in products that I, that I push and um, check out the Biker Bar. Like I said, you might not wanna put straps and mess up your paint. You might, like, like I had straps of mine before and it kinda messed up my forks. I have to take those and get them redone, which is just probably my error anyway, it's no big deal. But this thing is legit. I promise you, you're gonna love it, all right? So anyway, that's it. Beast is down for the count. I mean, as you can see this right now, these are off, right? But I'm taking the bike into my mechanics and we're gonna get some stuff done. Y'all gonna be happy to see what I'm gonna do to this bike. And I wanna take the moment out to big up Hogworks. Click the link in my description, go and order some stuff from Hogworks and Tab Performance, right? Hogworks and Tab has sponsored me with so many different parts and there's, there are more companies to come but in the meantime, hey man, Sensei is doing what he's doing. I love you guys. Don't forget to get these miles, that money, and that muscle. Let's go. And don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe. And please, please, most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Peace.